Kentucky. Our Elizabeth Donatelli is on the ground right there now. Elizabeth, uh, tell us what you're seeing and what's happening out there on Kentucky Street. Yeah, David, you caught us. We were talking to a neighbor, actually, that was been hearing some of the damage. But before we let you hear from her, we're going to show you the scene. Take a look here behind us, which we'll show you in just one second, is some of the rubble that fell from the top of this building. This is a four-story building. If you can see up at the top, it looks like some decorative uh, border towards the top that fell down, and it's covering the sidewalk, parts of the street. But we want to note here, no one was walking at the time. Remember, it was just about 5.30 in the morning not a lot of people out all it's doing right now is closing the street and again they're waiting for building inspe inspectors to come out like you said we have someone here who lives nearby come on over this way Aaron hey, Aaron you live um, probably about a block away tell me what you heard and what you felt during all this well basically I was asleep and it just felt like someone was literally shaking my bed and I woke up and I was just like what is going on I just went back to sleep because I didn't know what was going on but everybody started calling me around six and they were like are you okay and we heard it was on 3rd Street, so I'm just <laughs> happy to be alive. Now, your mom lives about an hour away. Tell me where she lives and what she felt out there. My mom, she lives in Radcliffe, and she said it was much worse. She was trying to literally get out the house. So um, she's okay, though. Um, my sister, she lives in J-Town, so it was different areas that felt different things. But And how, how strong do you think it was here? How much did it affect you? Like I said, it felt like someone was literally in my house shaking my bed. <laughs> Like so, a bad dream? Yes, like a real, real terror dream. Like I was in South 3 or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you aren't. That's the good news and not lots of damage. Thanks again for being with us, Aaron. Right, so we'll continue to bring you updates on this damage and lack thereof because, again, we want to note this is, seems to be right now the worst that we have downtown. Back to you guys. Well, and, and certainly that's the worst. That's some good news because a few bricks on the ground and no injuries uh, is much better than what could be. And we're going to keep monitoring this, though, and checking throughout the area. And we're going to stay with this coverage, this live coverage, uh, interrupting today's show right now until we are sure that throughout our area here that everything is okay. I want to head back out to Carrie right now. She's back in the studio. Carrie? All right. Thank you, David. And we